other than Christ on your mind, you ain't serving right. Come on. Yeah. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. Oh, y'all don't want to hear that. When you serve the bishop, you for to serve the bishop like you serving Christ. Y'all said, what? What did you say? But if you want to look in the, in, in the book of, uh, of that's Samuel too, eh? First Samuel. When, 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 when Samuel said, Eli, serve. Sam, Samuel served Eli. Yeah, amen. Yeah. Like he served the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Serving, serving, service comes from a heart of service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You serve, you, you serve because this is what you do. Yeah. Not to gain something. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And whether y'all believe it or not, people serve just to get something. Amen. 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 People do something for you just to get yes. something out of you. They got an alternative motive the whole time. Yes. And the only reason they're going to do for you is because they're trying to get something back That's from right. you. That's, right. That's the wrong mind of yes. service. Yes. You serve, you serve whether you get back or not. Because God is your source. Yeah. Yeah. Or somebody ought to say, Amen. 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 Watch this Apostle Paul was talking to servants. Whether you believe it or not, you have taken on the role of a servant. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Got a job to do. Yeah. You ain't in church just to be in church. Yeah. Amen. I'm so sick of people just coming to church Amen. just to come. Amen. Religiously. Yeah. 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 Y'all religiously come to church. That's how religious you are. You, yes. you just come to church just to come. But you got to learn how to come here and serve. Yes. Amen. 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 Learn to be a servant. You don't come to church just sit in the back pew. Yes. Do you not know you being here helps you become a servant? Yes. Yes. How, Pastor Willis? Because you don't know what your neighbor going through. That's right. yeah. That's right. Sometimes your pastor can't touch your neighbor right. when you sit right beside him. Oh, y'all, yeah, y'all don't like this kind of thing. I teach in my church that you are part of this ministry. You don't just come here. Somebody may be going through that sitting right next to you and need your praise. And instead of you giving God praise, you gonna allow that person to get on your nerves. Oh, y'all don't like this kind of talk. But the truth of the matter, if the saints came in the house of God saying we're going to serve God, somebody going to get delivered. It might not be me. It might not be me, but somebody going to get delivered. Somebody going to get set free, and I'm going to praise them until it happens. And the church becomes service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whether y'all know it, y'all, church used to ought to be a spiritual hospital. Yes, yes, right. People come in here, they ought to be coming. They yes, coming from hell. That's right. That's right. Nobody want to hear this. Amen. They come to the house of God, they coming for help. Yes. They need somebody yes. to service them. Yes. 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 It's a pit stop. Sometimes church becomes a pit stop. Now, now don't get me wrong, the pre preacher, the pastor, sometimes get frustrated because folk will come to church and get a quick fix and go back out there and do the same thing. But the truth of the matter is, if they didn't get their tiles changed, they couldn't go another ladder. So don't you worry about folk that come in here drunk and uh -huh. worried about the little, the little what you smell on them. Yeah. They trying to get some change. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Now, now, if you've got a problem with this, how are you a service? Yeah. Are you a servant yeah. to the kingdom? Mm. Yeah. Apostle Paul was talking to servants. People that were helping build them. Build the kingdom, not tear it down. I'm so sick of church people tearing down the kingdom because folk don't look like you. People don't act like you. You want to tear the church down because they ain't changing they ain't change as fast as you want to do. Yeah. 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 
the truth of the matter is, we have to become servants. Yes, Lord. Yes. Did you have five your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm a servant. Yes. Yes. Watch this. Yes. The thing about servants is we find out that the, that the servant is likened to the soldier. You become this, this lifestyle. You gotta understand that you are not just a servant, but you have taken on the role of a soldier. And any soldier must be equipped. Come on. Come on. Any soldier. No soldier's crazy enough. To run out there with no shield, no sword, no breastplate, no helmet. Something wrong with that soldier. And what that lets us know is that that soldier is untrained. Y'all don't want to deal with this. Come on. But the truth of the matter is, there are a lot of untrained soldiers. Wondering why they can't. Make it. Make it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Uh -huh. Wondering why the kings withstand the enemy. Yeah. It's yeah. because you're running out in this field with no helmet on. Mm -hmm. And they're shooting for your Woo! head. Yeah. 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 Oh Watch out, you untrained soldier. Mm -hmm. the Apostle Paul was talking in verse 10. He said, finally, the last thing I want to tell you, my brethren. Before you go out there, my brother, you got to learn how to be strong yeah. in the Lord and in the power yeah. Yeah. of his might. Yeah. 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 He said, put on, put on. the whole arm. The whole arm. Of God, that ye may be able to stand the wiles against the wiles of the devil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against yeah. powers, against the rulers of darkness of this yeah. world, against spiritual weaknesses in high places. Therefore, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. let me read that again. Uh -oh. For we wrestle not uh -oh. against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Therefore, Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand. Listen, baby. The reason for armor is to fight that you can't see. Come on. He said we we gotta wrestle things. Powers. Yeah. 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 Come on, come on, yeah. come on. But we gotta have on the arm. That's right, that's right. See, and, and what, what, what Apostle Paul is trying to show us is the model of a soldier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, we, we look at the text, and I can't stay here because I gotta go. But if we go to the, the 14th verse, it says, Therefore, uh, having your lungs girded with truth. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Breastplate with righteous, yes. feet shod, a uh, professional preparation of the gospel of peace, uh -huh. taking the shield of faith, uh -huh. and all of these things is teaching us the model yes, of a soldier. Mm -hmm. But I need to deal with this because it takes time mm -hmm. to become a soldier. Come on, come on, come on. I'm going to tell you the topic of my sermon. Come on, come on. Yeah. And I'm going to want you to turn your Bibles. Hopefully I can go to my scripture now. You will turn your Bibles to Samuel. Mm -hmm. Seven, first Samuel. First Samuel. 17th chapter. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Uh huh. And the 38th verse. All right, all right. I want you to repeat. I want you to repeat mm -hmm. after me and help 
help me with this because this is going to be a hard topic. Baby, you praying for me? Okay. I want you to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. what suits you? What suits you? No, no, that's super. Come on, Don. We got to deal with this. We got to deal with this text because when Apostle Paul began to talk, Concerning the armor, uh -huh. he was giving you a role model. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was trying to show you what the idea believer should be. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But what we re need to realize is that everybody ain't there yet. That's, That's right. right. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. Sometimes we try to walk into somebody's shoes. Uh -huh. That's just a little bit too big. Let me deal with these text watches. Watch, watch. Verse 38, verse 17, on, chapter of the Korean. Go it goes this it says, And so, armor D with his arm. And he put a helmet of brass upon his head. Also, he armed him with a coat of mail. Uh -huh. Yes, it is. See, a lot of times we as believers, so many people try to force something on us. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. You should pray like this. <laughs> you should preach like this. Come on. You should operate like this. When you speak in tongues, you don't speak like that, you both. <laughs> so tried to force his arm on David. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes we, as a, a ministry, a church, a, 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 as a congregation, as a denomination, try to force. What well, we experienced it uh -huh. on inexperienced people. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't want to deal with this, but sometimes we try to force feed them and they just ain't ready. Yet. That's right. That's right. That's true. Uh-huh. See, see, I gotta I gotta deal with something right here. Now watch this, watch this. Verse 39 and say, David cut it his sword upon his own. And he is saved to go. He tried. He tried. He tried. He tried. He tried. Y'all don't want to give me preach it in that house. Come on. Y'all quiet over here. I'm going to let y'all go. I'm going to keep this. They got to stay. Look at this. Check it out. David tried. Y'all ain't catching Come on. Come on. Y'all ain't catching this. Because the problem, we get frustrated with people. Told them how to do it, and, uh -huh. and they, they and then they go do it their way, yeah. and it don't work for them. Yeah. He tried to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saul's way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they tried to. Uh -huh. I want to pray like you pray. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to be your armor bearer so I can learn how to walk like you walk. Uh -huh. I'm gonna try. Yeah. Ain't nothing wrong with trying, y'all. I'm not fighting to try. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. But I have to realize where you are, baby. Yeah. Yeah. See, sometimes we as a church uh -huh. gotta learn what people are. Right. Yeah. And won't that no no see some of y'all crazy? <laughs> some of y'all crazy. Y'all said that 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 that, that 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 the armor was too big for David. You're wrong. The armor was not too big for David. David never grew into the armor. <laughs> But you gotta realize that armor was for a trained soldier that been through something, that been through battle after battle, that knows how to use a sword, that knows how to duck, and knows how to fight and throw his shields up. The armor was for that. David ain't never been in the armor. Oh David ain't never been in nothing like that. He took the king's armor. And anybody who ever read this scripture know that the kings win the battle first. Uh -huh, yeah. uh -huh, uh -huh. Scripture speaks that the king posed to go in the battle.